What's going on, Video Game Voter Van Your boy, the Video Game Voter here. So, today, I just got back home from visiting New Jersey, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, where today, well, I actually started yesterday, New Jersey Gamer Con 2019. Um, it's about two hours drive from Baltimore. Uh, I actually gifted a ticket to one of my best friends, Greg. He took the trip with me. Uh, so, we drove up there, and uh, we got up there kind of late. And I should have paid attention more to the times as far as when the vendors closed because the vendors shut down at like 7 and we didn't get there. It's about 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock, somewhere around that time. So we had a little bit of time. We did get to visit the vendors and stuff like that. All in all, I had a good time. Um, I actually had a, uh, the pleasure and opportunity to sit in on the completionist Gerard Khalil. He had a panel there and which he basically was calling people up from... Uh, the audience of the panel to go up and try out a level that he made specific for New Jersey Game of Con 2019 on Super Mario Maker 2. Uh, there was one one uh, contestant. No one completed the, the uh, board, but the closest one that made it to completing the board that or the stage that uh, Gerard created would win a Nintendo Switch given away by the completionist himself. And there's one particular gentleman, um, he ended up coming pretty close. He was about right there. He ended up winning the Nintendo Switch. It was super exciting. It was just a very nice panel. It was def definitely a good way and just, you know, like a thought provoking and, and just kind of, not really thought provoking, but it was an interesting way. He, like found a different way to do a panel. I thought that was super awesome for him to do that. I also had the pleasure of uh, meeting him, getting his autograph, which I'll show y'all. Got to meet him and everything. Took a picture with him. That's got him to sign right here on his name, or well, next to his picture. And this is the uh, New Jersey Gamer Con. This is basic program for July 2019. So that was pretty cool. Um, so all in all, I had a good time. Um, what I realized it was. It's a 24-hour festival, but certain things get closed off a certain time, and um, it was relatively small. Um, in comparison, I would compare it to Seattle Retro Game Expo, where it's kind of small, um, community-based uh, event. It was pretty good, though. I did have a good time. Um, wasn't that many vendors. That's actually probably the smallest uh, amount of vendors that I've seen at the cons that I've been to this year. But all in all, we had some pretty good stuff. Of course, I had some pickups. I also had the chance to meet one of the video game voting vanguards uh, like page on Facebook. One of the guys that I made the admin, uh, Chris. Shout out to Chris, man. It's a pleasure to meet you today. Um, he, Chris has been a big follower of the video game voter, a big supporter. Um, so I basically uh, welcomed him and welcomed them into the video game voting family. You know, it's basically part of the team and made them uh, underboss. Him and another Chris, they kind of run my video game voter vanguard page and i'm very thankful for them man thank you for their continued support chris so it was just a pleasure meeting you i know he, we had plans of him uh we were talking about coming down for magfest this year so i'm definitely looking forward to that um so back to new jersey game of con they had some uh arcades set up they had a console room they also had small metal vendors stuff like that so i mean all in all it was pretty good it wasn't that large but it was very nice it was good to go out there so i know you guys are curious what i picked up and i did pick up some so let's get to those first and foremost the number one thing every time i go anywhere gotta get the event t-shirt new jersey gamer con 2019 is pretty cool that's the official t pick that up you guys seen the program already and to the games uh, first and foremost, I picked up for the Nintendo Wii, Sonic and the Secret Rings. There you see that, it's for the Wii. Um, I think uh, Gerard might completed this on his channel. I don't know, I came across, picked it up, it's five bucks. Another game, I actually got this pretty cheap. If you guys are familiar with the market right now, you guys know what this game's going for. Super Mario Strikers Charge for the Wii, I got that for ten bucks. That was pretty cool, so pick that up. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe PS3 Greatest Hits. Pick that up. Eight bucks. 
tech into for the original PlayStation. I'm looking to possibly expand on my original PlayStation collection, so I've seen that. I would like to have the original one, but that was close enough to the classic. Another classic, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I had to pick it up. That's the original. That's where it all started. I know you guys are familiar with this. If you played the game, you definitely are super familiar. And this is one I actually saw when the vendors closed on the lower level. There was actually a panel. Um, it was a room where panels were set up upstairs that's actually where um the completionist did his signing it was up in panel room c upstairs they actually across the hall i had one vendor set up upstairs and i actually was able to catch him he was open later and this was one of the last games that i seen it was actually one of one on my list that i was looking for mortal kombat gold for the dreamcast so i picked that up i was super excited about that that was a more expensive one but it was 30 bucks so i was happy to add that to the collection so again um, thank you everybody to the for the continued support. Um, I had a good time at New Jersey GamerCon. Um, I don't know if that would be something that I would do um, as far as like a couple days trip. I drove up for the day, which to me was satisfying enough. And you know, I pretty much got to see everything there. I wish I had a little more time. And I'm not sure how the game console room was set up to begin with because normally like game, um, I'm sorry, MAGFest, and as well as uh, Seattle Retro Gaming Expo, their console area, you were able to take and swap all games. It didn't appear to be that way at New Jersey Gamer Con, and I could be mistaken because I kind of got there a little late, but I don't know. But all in all, I had a good time. Um, as far as what I recommend it, if you're in the area, it's a short drive. Cons are always fun. It's always a good place to pick up some things. Um, so and then you know meet new people and stuff like that and now it's time to tend to go on special guests um i kind of expected the crowd to be a lot larger than what it was um it was it was a lot smaller than what i anticipated um so i could see me going back there next year especially being that it's just a, you know two hours up the road i'll gladly take that trip at uh 30 bucks a ticket i just paid for the saturday pass so um i didn't spend too much wasn't a big deal so uh, I would say I recommend it if you're in an area, I wouldn't fly in unless they, of course, invite you. You know, that's always something you probably wouldn't want to pass up. So um, again, thank you to all the continued support from the Video Game Voter Vanguard. We are continuing to move up with the subscribers. Don't forget, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button right now. I'd appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit the share. Tell your friends, spread the word about the Video Game Votary. I appreciate everyone, again, for your continued support. Um, if you want to donate to the video game voter, you help send me the cons or, you know, if you want to see me do some footage or something like that, or if you want to send anything or whatever the case may be, www.patreon.com backslash video game voter. That's where you can donate straight to the channel, help with equipment, send me the cons, expos, things of that nature. Also, don't forget the video game voter official podcast um, that is available on every podcast platform. Just type in video game voter in your search bar and it'll pop right up. Also, uh, www.wordpress.com backslash video game votary. It's an official website of video game votary. Check that out when you guys get a chance. I haven't blogged in a while. I need to get back to that. I'm just trying to manage everything that's going on. So that's something that kind of been slipping my mind lately. So I apologize for that. But I'll get back on there. And there you'll find links to all videos, uh, links to the podcast, and stuff like that. You guys can check it out, get that a listen. Also, um, when I live stream, I will no longer be live streaming from the YouTube channel. I'll be live streaming from Twitch. I'm trying to become a partner there. I need to get my followers up and kind of get that going. So log on to www.twitch.tv backslash video game voter. That's where you find me. Also, that is my internet handle on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, any way you want to reach me, video game voter, that is the handle. Hit me up on there. Holler at your boy. Leave comments and stuff like that down below. I, again, I appreciate your continued support. Um, the views are going up on the videos and stuff like that. Subscribers are slowly and gradually climbing. I appreciate it so much. Um, also, if you guys haven't checked out yet, check out um, John Riggs. Put up a new video. He's actually rocking the official video game voter merch. He's rocking the shirt. Shout me out. Thank you, John Riggs, brother. I appreciate that. Also, again, shout out to Gerard Khalil, aka The Completionist. I'm a huge fan of The Completionist. That is, he's about neck and neck with me and uh, with Metal Jesus as far as my favorite YouTubers. Um, 
I definitely appreciate his hustle, his grind. He's so charismatic and exciting and super funny to be around, man. He's a super, super cool down to earth dude, man. So thank you, I appreciate everything and it was a pleasure meeting you. So we're gonna end the episode on that note. This is the Video Game Votary. Holla at your boy.